Hello guys, this is Old School Gaming and my name is Brian and today I thought I'd show you how to make a nice little aerial which actually works really well for me. Nothing more than a piece of wood, a couple of little capacitors there, you can see them. <laughs> it's not very good light today so I'm going to do my best with what i got and an old um, aerial wire I cut off something but you can use any aerial wire really can't you as long as it's got um, I think it's the male end which plugs in and then that's all it is the wire two screws to hold it on either side see, if I can see that a bit better the wires just go to the end of these little capacitors and the value of those each one of those is 4,700 picofarads. It might, it says for, let me read it a minute. I can't see it. I either get in, four, it says 472M on it, which is basically 4,700 picofarads. Because you count the four and the seven, and then the two, you just turn them into two zeros, so. That's how you read those, and basically, that's all you do. Get the one end of the wire to the capacitor, and the other end of the capacitor to what is actually a guitar string. It is the E string, which is the thickest guitar string on the guitar. The low E, so basically, and up in the middle here we've got, it's just a garden. One of those garden, um, what they call garden skewer things you grow plants up against. I just chopped a bit off. You can use anything really. Drill a hole in the woodlet, plop it in, and basically, where's my measuring stick? Which is actually a ruler. Let's have a look. It's just under, I think, in the widest spot, it measures just under 10 inches. Just under 10 inches there which is, looks like it's about just under about 24 and a half, nearly 25 centimeters there. So basically that's all it is and it works really good. I've got another one here, look, which basically it was, it was a rubbish little aerial I bought from a pound store. See? It already had the wire and everything plugged it in it was pretty useless didn't do much it just it had two sort of sort of radio type aerials coming out of there I can't remember it didn't have nothing in the middle I don't think just the two so I took them off put a few sc screws through look in the bottom I can't remember what capacitors are in here I think they were already on there I'll have to see the bottom should come off easy enough and this one this one also works amazing. You can't really see inside, but it's, it's the same as the other one. The wires just come in and go to the... I use little bolts to bolt straight through. Join the wire on. Bolt the um, ends of the capacitors then. And if I can see... I'll have to flip this capacitor because it's the wrong way. It's a bit dark, in it? But you have to take my word for it. <laughs> but... Um, I have to have a quick look a minute with my little my little eyeglass. Oh yeah, that's four seven one K, so that's four hundred and seventy. That should be four hundred and seventy people fired that one. So I don't think they're they're not that critical the value. But um Pico Farads who get your little their little um, film ones I think, film capacitors. But um Basically, that's all it is. And I used to use one of those aerials where you've got, you plug it in and it's amplified and all that. And, you know, it's got about bloody three or four different metal bits sticking off it. And looks like something out of the blooming future or something, you know, <laughs> some sort of futuristic thing. And basically, that was rubbish too. I always used to get, God, I was always up adjusting it and trying to get a good picture slight bit of wind and the picture would go off and oh god terrible but with this one this one 
I had it like that on top of, well, on top of the shelf behind my television, just upright like that. And it worked fine all the way through the summer. And then it came winter and got a bit windy. And then my picture actually went a little bit funny. So I was like, you know, ah, oh, don't work as good as I thought. So I, I got up, tipped it on its side like that. Just stuck, stuck something under there like that. And that was it. It worked fine again. And that was all through the winter. And I've only just sort of now picked it up off the shelf and moved it and had absolutely no problems with it. They're, they're amazing. I tell you, they're good little aerials. It's amazing what you can do with a bit of um, guitar wire. So if you're having troubles with your aerial and your indoor aerial, trying to get a picture, so you should give this a try. Same one on that one, look. Just the skewer thing and the guitar wire. Yep, same thickness wire as well. You could try anything. I don't I don't expect there has to be a guitar wire. But um I don't know, you could just try a normal metal um loop or see how that works. If it don't work, just give the guitar wire a try. Cause it's actually lots of little wires wrapped around. I think it's like a solid wire inside. Some of them have got nylon inside and then wire, but I think these ones are as far as I can see it, it's a solid wire inside and then a lot, then another little wire just wrapped all the way around, sort of really tightly. I don't know if that is why it works good or not, but oh well, I've never tried one with just a normal bit of wire. Might actually try that at some point. Could even try a piece of electric wire with rubber on, I don't know, that might actually work good as well. Give it a go. So there you go, it's a quick little video showing you how the aerials work? Well, not showing you how they work because I can't really put it on the telly. I'll probably get done for showing <laughs> showing content I'm not supposed to be showing. But here you go. That's a quick little video. I hope it helps you out. Hope you have a go and get a good picture. If you do, then leave a comment. I'd like to know if it actually worked for you. So see you later, guys. See you in the next one. So long.